I think this is a really interesting circle request. The concept here is that I can only use ranged card combos. So anything Diana or Apollo I can use. Everything else is banned. Now the initial request was to use Cross as little as possible. Uh, I will not be doing that here for two reasons. Number one, Cross is ranged. So it's on brand for this playthrough. And number two, please trust me, I need it. I need the cross. And I can also use speed up. This is technically a speed run. Bones are kind of ranged. It's not a bad point. Maybe I'll make a judgment call later. Alright, so we've got countdown enabled. So four checks here somewhere. That includes cards. And sub weapons are shuffled. Maybe I'll find a cross early. Instant double jump, love to see it. I do want that bat drop at some point. It could be anything. There is no waiting on the drops here. Could be a shining armor. Uh, I'm gonna grab this for now. So yeah, using cards without having the combination specifically that you're switching over to, that is in vanilla. But, normally you need at least two cards, one god card and one monster card. In the randomizer though, there's an option so that no matter how many cards you have, you can always use Pluto and Griffin for the speed up. Uh, let me do this first. There's a sub weapon here I can check out. Ooh, um, I'm gonna stick with the axe. That was a tough one though. There we go, nice, little armor. Now, when it comes to sub-weapons, Cerberus is the one boss in the whole game, except for maybe Necromancer, where Axe is your absolute best choice. I will show you why. Good pattern. Very easy triple hits.
Good. And nice healing. Alright, here's some trivia. If you want to get a Potion EX in Vanilla Circle, which enemy do you have to farm? I believe there's only one. And it's super rare. Of course it is. It's Circle. It is indeed. All right, isn't it? Good call. Okay. I need three more keys to open the door. Still no cards. Um, let me do this. Although, actually, this is a really high chance of being something. Can the randomizer have no cross? I don't believe so. I think the numbers are the same, but they're shuffled. Oh, good call. Oh my god. The routing. There is one more check down here somewhere, but I'm gonna skip it for now. It could be locked behind um, Heavy Ring. Now check this out, this is pretty cool. With kick boots, I can take a nice little shortcut here. Okay, time for the classic Frozen Shade Farm. Please trust me. I do this because it's super worth it. Three total. Yeah, just three, quote unquote, just three. After that, there are diminishing returns. Yeah, from three to four, can I see five on the next one? Oh yeah. Hello, Sass. Good morning. How are you? All right. Five super quick level ups, and I'm gone. Double grips, oh my god. There's two. Well, thanks so much. <laughs> Check out these stat upgrades. Isn't that nice? That's why you kill stuff in circle. All right. Um, I'm not sure if this is good for Diana or Apollo. I think it's okay for Apollo. Cool. 
So yeah, combination of the level ups and the equipment, I went from doing 11 to 50 on that Axe Simon. Not much going on so far. Out of curiosity, there is no way I can get up there with kick boots. I had an idea. But it's not gonna work out. Wait, did I get d <laughs> double grips from the slime as well? And a couple of curse strings. At this point, curse strings are not gonna help me all that much. Oh, there's a cross, okay. We are solved on sub weapons. Wait, I just got something. <laughs> Hang on. What is up with all these top tiers? I think I would like two strength rings, please. You get one more of those. And the cool thing about double grips, it gives you plus 75 everything, including luck. So farms like this become a lot easier. It's not rigged. It's not rigged. This is the nature of circle rando. Okay. You gotta believe me. I was hoping for, like, a strength armband or something there. That would have been nice. Um... Let me not forget about this one here. Okay, a lot of attribute cards, but I still gotta find Diana or Apollo. And I'm gonna make that a part of go mode. I've gotta find at least one of those two before I win. I'm not gonna get hit. Check this out. Perfect room coming up. Oh my god. No! <laughs> it's impossible. Isn't that crazy? Max speed skeleton athletes can match Nathan's speed even with this card combo. Very fast. More trivia. What's the one enemy in the game faster than Skeleton Athlete? I'm gonna heal up here. I should all go ahead and save even. Yeah, it's the Medalist. The enemy in the secret room within a secret room that has a very low chance of dropping a bear ring that turns you into a bear when you combine the two rarest cards in the game. And when you're a bear, your offense is bad and you die in one hit. Hard to explain, really. <laughs> it's the most circle thing in the game, probably. But it's cool. It's a great Easter egg.
Uh, what the? Pooping all over the place here. So quick. I don't think the circle randomizer is still being worked on, but there was some speculation earlier this year about maybe adding a bear ring required preset, because bear ring does give you double jump. Even if you don't have the relic for it. Sadly, you cannot have double double jump. They do not stack. All right, so from here, let's try the hallway. Circle the most dead Metroidvania game? Absolutely not. It's probably fourth most active, so around the middle of the pack. Maybe third? Probably fourth. And then uh, last year, it was the most active. Or I should say uh, earlier this year. It hasn't been that long. Once all the nuclear stuff hit, it was the most active Castlevania speed game by a mile. No bear farm? Alright, I'll kill one. For old time's sake. I've already got two strength rings. It would have to be an armband. <laughs> First try drop. I hate this game. I'm gonna go back to fighter any percent and never have that happen. Yeah, that's right, it was Circle GDQ January, Nuclear February. In some ways, the timing's unfortunate. I would have loved to have shown off Nuclear. In another way, the timing was perfect. We got to see one final glimpse of pre-Nuclear Circle on the big stage. It's fine, there's like, you know, multiple categories, but it feels like a different era now. Nice rainbow road. How many checks are up here? Five. I gotta commit to this. Uh, okay. I'll come back. I'll come back to that card. Probably. Hello, Lunix. Thank you for the good luck. I will not be doing nuclear walk only. Here's the walk speed. Sorry, excuse me, here's the walk speed. I'm gonna do one room with the walk speed. You tell me if this feels enjoyable. I'm amazed I haven't gotten hit here. Oh, I can't get up! <laughs> Poor Nathan. Gotta run. Gotta run to make that jump. The walk speed is terrible, but to be fair, they give you boots immediately. And uh, slide speed's not bad. Grab that card. Uh, 
Uh, I'm banned, sorry. I'm banned. I just, I can't be used here. Not even gonna put it on the track. get this check, but I can at least give it a peek. Oh my god, I hate this room. There we go. <laughs> no! Alright, they're respawning. There they are. What about... Nah, I can't barely do that. Just a little too low. Alright. All that for a heart container. One more key piece, and I'm technically, technically in go mode. Oh my god, it's fine. I got knocked in the right direction. This has been, um, less stacked than it seemed. Might be coming out of here empty-handed. Oh, hang on. Heart high? Okay, I'm gonna farm some of these killer dolls, aka marionettes, on the way back. That might be the best thing I've found up here. Uh, Rockwing, pretty good too. Pretty good pickup. Alright. None of the areas and circles seem to connect fluidly. They do, but I know what you mean. Uh, Circle of the Moon has by far, number one, the greatest number of big rooms compared to any other Metroidvania. And number two, this is the more important point, it's got the highest number of irregularly shaped rooms. A lot of weird polygons if you take a look at the map. It's one of the things that gives the game a unique identity, the map layout. But it is a little confusing to navigate. That was the easiest possible time. Ooh, um, I think I'll use that for bosses. That is plus 20 strength, which is the most important stat. <laughs> oh my god, never mind. It was backloaded, but it was indeed stacked. I'm gonna grab that card for sure. That is everything here. Okay, if I put on two strength rings, can I one-shot here? Nice. 
this. So I got one more hard high, it's not great, but at least I got one. Neptune? Band? I know where to go next. Actually, man, might as well do some of these first. My favorite elemental armor? Great question. This game has got armors for literally every element. It's great. One of my favorite parts of Circle, I hope, in Castlevania 2023, elemental armors make a return. My favorite, probably dark armor. They're fairly ridiculous, like the attack pattern. It's extremely unreasonable when you first come across them. But it's actually pretty fair. Once you know the trick. It's kind of like a mini-boss. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, they did return in Grimoire. Please forgive me, I don't have Apple Arcade. I really want that on Steam. I just totally whipped. Um, check the pixels. There it is. <laughs> You'll notice there are these little black squares here on the left. That's the tell. Now that I have Heavy Ring, I should probably get this other check down here. I'm not sure I can even kill the Metalist at this point, not even with two Strength Rings, probably. But I don't know. And the drop is rare. Dark armor? Hey, thanks. <laughs> Look at that defense. This is why you keep killing stuff and circle the moon. Thank you. I love this rando. You finally get a chance to see all the cool gear. Without having to farm a million years for it. I can probably one-shot the Earth Demon. More trivia. The Earth Demon here, oh, still a two-shot, drops a card in vanilla. Now think very carefully, it's an Earth Demon. What card do you think it drops? The answer might surprise you. A serpent? Why would, hang on, why would an earth demon drop the ice card? Also, that card is very useful for a lot of things early, like the brain flow checks. Why would they lock such an important early game card behind what is effectively a mini boss at like a 3% drop rate? That doesn't make any sense. But it's circle, and that is exactly the case. What a mystery. Honestly, if you replay this game casually, I think farming Earth Dan is a good idea. 
you'll get uh, more castle map clear early. You'll get more checks, and you'll get more levels, which the game does expect. It's time for this. I've got Rockwing. It's not going to be so bad. Even without cleansing. It's fine. My defense is just unreal. That did like 30% of my health. Thanks to the dark armor. That should have been about 300% of my health. I can see that, Lonix. Yeah, this area's music does have some fusion vibes to it. It's a lot more atmospheric. I'll take that. Okay, one more frozen shade farm. This one's gonna be a little bit quicker. Thank you. Oh, one more. This has got to be the most random secret in the game. No way. Go mode? Go mode? Go mode. But, I gotta find one of these cards or else this playthrough is a scam. Uh, this secret without Rockwing, it is not, sadly. I've tested some things out, like trying to petrify the Frozen Shade. It just doesn't work. Thankfully, in the vanilla game, you get Rockwing right here. So if you have a sneaking suspicion that random tile is a secret room, you can come back. Hey, what's up, Dante? Still not go mode. And hello, Joanna. Thank you so much for the congrats. Yeah, very productive tournament weekend for sure. Got the lag here. It's killing me. A secret strat? Yeah, please send me a DM. I want to hear more about Castlevania secret strats. Castlevania trivia. 
What is unusual about this particular section of the game? This one room right here, what's, uh, what's off? A lot of people don't know this, but this platform right here is one of a couple that were added to the randomizer. Otherwise, you cannot get up here with just a double jump. In the normal game, you're expected to do like this. But you're not always guaranteed to have kick boots. I think, uh, I think it was Spooky who did that. Did a really good job. It looks very natural. Alright, so there's a 1 in 3 chance this remaining major check is behind Camilla. We save first. Here they come. <laughs> Get away from the ice demon. Um, that is five out of four keys. I'm going to pass. I think I'm ready to go. Once I get one of these cards that are, you know, in the splits, I'm gonna fight Dracula. Hmm. I could do gallery real quick. Oh, you know what else I could do? Hang on. There might be a card right here. There is not. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Yeah, I'm gonna go gallery. Actually, what about over here? Haven't checked Triumph hallway yet. There's one. That's not correct. But maybe that'll be useful. I want to say that Mandragora Diana is pretty decent. Where is Mandragora? There it is. Joanna, this seems a little bit too high tech for me. Please send me a, a Discord DM. I'll give it a think after the stream. Oh my god, two cards? This has got to be one. It's not. These cards just don't exist. Okay, maybe here? It's gotta be literally right here, though. Damn. You know, just to play devil's advocate for a moment, if the rules of the challenge stipulate that I can only use Diana or Apollo combos, and I don't use any combos at all. Isn't that abiding by the rules of the challenge? I'm just saying.
It's fine, it's gonna be right here. I really don't want to do that room. I'm going up. Plus, this is a good chance to farm hearts. Alright. So. Night suit and double strength ring. Got it, kidding. This is a rough pattern to start, wow. Never seen such uncooperative zombie dragons before. Get one more cross. Gotta make it count. Nice. Okay, there's one. Nice sage robe. I'm gonna put that on later. It's even better than the dark armor. I'm gonna put that on right now. <laughs> well, I mean, is Int really more useful right now? Probably not. I gotta survive here. I should probably heal up. Don't I have, like, meat? Okay, there we go. There we go. Always a fun time, I think. I like that boss a lot. All right, let's get up to 148 hearts. All right. Probably the last boss I'll fight before Dracula. So I'll save split these two checks over here on the right. I'm gonna try and tank everything, but there's just no easy way through these rooms coming up.
Oh, right, I can't do that one. Only one check available right now. I feel like I gotta find a tackle block somewhere. Best guess is probably reverse clock tower, which is pretty close. Let's try that out. Alright, let's see what we got. The bottom half is locked by Tackle. So hopefully I find a relic up here. More double grips? Thank you. A lot of enemies dropping the good stuff here. It's fine, I only need two. Another banned god card. Why does this happen to me? Speaking of Hugh, I might have to go up to fight Hugh next. Unless it's right here. It is not. Now let's go up. Oh, I forgot about this. I can fight these candles now. This is clearly a very good idea. I think that's a good summary. The seed has been very kind with everything except for the challenge cards. Great armor, great uh, accessories. Pretty fair placement for all the relics. It was pretty quick. Maybe could have PB'd, except for the challenge. Here I am doing a full clear for one card. Yo, Darren, what's happening? Hope you've been well.
Yeah, either Diana or Apollo are fine. I'm probably only gonna get one hit. Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> it's literally gonna be the last two cards. Alright, Hugh, let's go. On the bright side, I'll have plenty of Apollo and or Diana combos to choose from. Once I finally get one. Uh, is this Tackle? Hang on. Legion in this game is so bad. Yo, nice. Hmm. Maybe I just leave? There are three more majors here, never mind. Oh my god, get out of here! <laughs> Gotta be kidding. Why does this count? Oh my god, if you take a look at the uh, countdown, it went from three to one. I guess this is programmed as part of the quote-unquote outside of the castle area. Interesting. Zeta, thank you for the congrats. Appreciate the kind words. Oh my god. On the bright side, I do really like the movement in top floor in this game. It does require some concentration, but it's a fun area. Alright, Jonah, that sounds good, thank you. Just to bring things around full circle, we were talking at the very start about Alora Une. If you want to farm this enemy, this room is the place to do it. Much better here than in the battle arena. Check this out. Oh, what the? I'm gonna kill one. Get a first tread drop. Wow, these are bulky. Not worth. My favorite Castlevania movement. Uh, I do think it's Aria, but it's not Panther. I think vanilla Aria movement, pre-Panther movement, is the best in the series. And Panther is great, and I think it's perfectly placed in Aria. It's where it's good, but it, it doesn't really matter for 90% of the game. 
I would say Aria number one. Something like the Speed Gaming Live preset. Thank God. Something like the Speed Gaming Live preset where you start with Panther is very good. But I kind of prefer having a little backdash movement as well. I can skip Hugh. My lucky day. But there's still more stuff here. Out of curiosity. I would like to find... Um, I don't think I've Griffin yet. Okay, that's every key. Oh, that was close. How did that work? You've got to be kidding. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, my favorite elemental armor. <laughs> I found him. Um, I found him. Um. Isn't that nice? Okay, well, I've got a sage robe. I've got all kinds of gear. Surely this will be fine. So what to start with? I think I'll start with Apollo, because Apollo is probably worse. Alright, finally. Check out this selection. This is probably the best Apollo combo. This one's gonna be terrible for Dracula. Our one final Castlevania trivia question. What is Dracula weak to in this game? Love, fire, great answer so far. Oh, I forgot to do the input for this. <laughs> uh... Wait a minute, no, that's correct. Why did that not work? Yeah. Get a little scammed. There we go. Yo, that damage is pretty nice. Hang on. I think we're going Apollo phase one. And Diana phase two. That is some quality damage. I'm only level 21. So yes, that was indeed a trick question. There are no weaknesses. And circle the moon. Only resistances. Oh my god, it's over! Wow. Let's go, Apollo. That was impressive. What's my drop here? Okay, that's huge. This is the second best. Actually, is this better? I think this is better than the night suit, yeah. Plus 30? Second best uh, strength boosting armor in the game. I'll save, but I think we're good to go here. Yeah, plus 30, good. I think it was worth the wait. What a display from Apollo. 
and my heart count is fine. I think I've got two or three of the uh, heart highs. Yeah, two of them, that's fine. Yeah, fatigues are the best at plus 50, but that is such a rare drop. You can either get it from a Gorgon, or, interestingly, the one enemy we don't see in any speedrun, Franken. And that reminds me, I gotta pick up the kill a Franken percent meme category for this game. I invented it, I've never run it. In fact, no one has run it. <laughs> I gotta bring it to life, so to speak. Just like the creature. Alright, here we go. What Diana combo do I want to do? I don't have the best one. Uh, which is Gripen. I think all of these are kind of bad except for this one. Good. Oh my god, this is way too expensive. Um, Sage Road, hang on. And then back to double grips. I need more int here. This is really not gonna cut it. I'll try uh, maybe one more. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One more Diana combo. This one I know for a fact is low tier. Um, sure. I'm sure this will be great. <laughs> I do love that sound effect. That is a Game Boy Color sound effect. All right, going back to Apollo. Oh, disagree. This might be a new personal favorite. It's really good. Wonder if it'll be good on phase two. I check this out. I missed. <laughs> Hang on. No! There it is! What a shot! Insane gameplay. <sighs> Barely survived that one. Alright, so for here I'm gonna restore some MP. And I'll focus on crosses for the end of phase one. Oh, it was one hit away, okay? I'm glad I got that one cross. Thank you so much, Tackleberry, for the five months. Super appreciate the reset. Very kind. All right, good cross damage. I'll go one more cross phase, and then it's on to Apollo. Hopefully it doesn't lock onto one of the bats. That would be unfortunate.
Alright, expecting good things here. Oh god, how do I aim this? Uh... Oh my god, it's insane! It cuts right through! Wow. Impressive. Just ignores the bats altogether. Uh, that's not correct. I think one more phase will do it. One more cycle. Here we go. Uh-oh, I got hit. I'm bad at the game. No! <laughs> it's not latching on. Here we go, one shot. One shot. I overshot! Alright, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah! Thank you for the shining armor. Time. I gotta say, very impressed by Apollo during that Dracula fight. Diana, not so much. I feel like with Diana, you really need that Griffin combo. Mandragora is good early, and Griffin is great for the whole game. Otherwise, a little bit unimpressive. But I think this whole playthrough was worth it, just for that Apollo lightning.